Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about RFQ and purchase order. What is RFQ? RFQs are request for quotation. Now, what are these requests for quotations? If you desire to buy uh, products from some vendors or some suppliers and all, you will create an RFQ, you will put all the products you need inside that and then you will send it to a supplier. And once that is confirmed, it becomes a purchase order. Okay, so now let's get inside the purchase module and see what all things we can do inside the RFQ and purchase order. So now let's get inside the purchase module and see how to generate an RFQ and also a purchase order. So I'm opening the purchase module, as you can see it's here, opening it. Now here, once you open it inside the dashboard, you can see all the RFQs. That is the list view of the RFQs. Okay, so we have other views as well. So I'm not going deep into the views and all. Now let's create an RFQ. So under the orders menu, you can see RFQ and also purchase orders. So from here, the dashboard, I'm directly creating the RFQ. So clicking on the create button here. And this is the window where we, uh, you can create the RFQs. So we have to specify a vendor that is the supplier from which, I mean, from whom we are going to buy the products. So here I'm going to choose Abigail. Okay, and here you can provide the vendor references. That is any kind of reference uh, corresponding to the vendor and all, you can put it there. And here comes the purchase agreement. So we know what purchase agreements are. We have two types of agreements and all, that is agreement types and all. We've uh, spoken about that in another video. And we have the currency. And here you can specify the order deadline. Okay, you can simply change it. By default, it will take today. Okay, then you have the expected arrival. Okay, so uh, it shows the expected arrival. Here you can see 50% on time delivery. Then if you want to ask confirmation and all, you can just check that. And how, I mean, when do you want to ask the confirmation? You can specify the days. Okay, the count of the days can be given there. And also deliver to who? That receipts and all, you can choose it from there. And here you have the order lines where you can specify the desired products. So under the products tab, let's add a product. So I'm clicking on add a product and adding a product, I'll add bacon burger. And from here, you can set the quantity, setting the quantity. Also, the unit price can be set from here. So I'm setting the unit price as 50. Okay, so here you can see a total of $250. And we have the other information tab where you have the buyer details. That is Michelle Edmund is the buyer. Okay, so I've logged in as Michelle Edmund. So I am the person who's buying this from the supplier. And here you have the company. And if you have any kind of source document that can be specified here. Then the INCO terms, so you know what INCO terms are. They are international commercial terms. Okay, they are used in trades and all. And each INCO term has a specific meaning. Okay, and also you can specify the INCO term location. And under the payment terms, you have fiscal position. Okay, so it's for tax mapping. You can choose any of the fiscal position if needed. Then we have the alternatives. Now, it's here inside the alternative where we'll create a call for tender. Okay, so you can create an alternative for this RFQ and then you can compare the alternatives and choose the best one. So I'm not doing that and all. Now here you have the option to send by mail. That is once you fill all the details of the RFQ, you can simply send it uh, by mail and also if you want, you can print it. Okay, so I'm going to directly confirm it. Okay, so once you confirm the RFQ, it has changed the state to purchase order. So if you are just clicking on uh, send the RFQ, it will be directly going to the state which is RFQ sent. So that's sent. Now here you can see a smart tab which says receipt one. So it's simply a, a generated receipt corresponding to the RFQ which you created. So if you just click on that, you can see the receipt here. Okay, the product is here and the source package, destination package and to which location this is going and all can be find here. I mean, found here. Then you have the schedule date, the deadline and also the source document. So here you have the purchase order reference inside the source document. Okay, so currently it's in a ready state. So if you validate it, it becomes done. So I'm going to validate it. You have the option to set quantity and all. I'm clicking on apply here. Okay, so it's uh, like it's in done state. You can see the done quantity is five right now. Okay, now if you want to print labels, print it, return it, scrap it or even unlock it, you can do that from the top bar. Going back to the purchase order. Okay. So once it's done, it, uh, it becomes uh, locked. Okay, so you can even unlock it by clicking on the unlock button there. 
So it's simply, uh, I mean, it's a really simple step. You can create an RFQ and once the RFQ is confirmed, it becomes a purchase order. So that's the concept about the RFQ and purchase order. That's all we have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching.